Hello, everyone. Welcome to Joe the Lawyer. Today, we're going to take a look at, a, the, at this article out of uh, Broward County, Florida, which I believe is the county that covers Fort Lauderdale, large population uh, center in the United States. It says, Broward judge tells lawyers to get out of bed and wear a shirt for Zoom hearings. Uh, this was published on April 13th. I've been wanting to make a video about this for a couple of days, so I'm a little bit behind the curve here, but we're going to cover it now. Um, if you like my channel, I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer, a practicing Pittsburgh attorney. I do criminal defense, family law, and a little bit of everything. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Here on this channel, we talk about legal news and different legal topics. I'm really looking to get subscriptions right now. If I get to 1,000, YouTube opens up new features for me. I can also monetize the channel. This channel will always remain free, so go ahead and give me a subscribe. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna read this article, uh, and then I'm gonna tell you uh, sort of uh, exactly um, what my opinion is on these issues. Sweatpants and t-shirts may be the uniform for the new work-at-home workforce, but if you're a lawyer in Broward County, a judge wants you to avoid dressing down for telecourt appearances. So you know these have been going on due to the coronavirus. With some courts opting for online hearings, Broward Circuit Judge Dennis Bailey issued a warning to those thinking they can wear just anything. It is remarkable how many attorneys appear inappropriately on camera, the judge wrote in the letter posted on the Weston Bar Association website. We've seen many lawyers in casual shirts and blouses with no concern for ill grooming in bedrooms with the master bed in the background. One male lawyer appeared shirtless and one female attorney appeared still in bed under the covers. Wow. And putting on a beach cover up won't cover up your poolside in a bathing suit. <laughs> So please, if you don't mind, let's treat court hearings as court hearings, whether Zooming or not. Bailey, who sits on the board of the Bar Association, says he crafted the letter to give attorneys an update on the court's doings. While Broward Family Court has already made the seamless switch to digital hearings, some aspects of criminal and civil proceedings have yet to do the same. I can say that uh, criminal hasn't really done that too much in Allegheny County, but a little bit. There's the judge right there talking to a couple of attorneys. The piece about dress code, however, was just an observation. I would want attorneys dressed showing some respect for their recognition that this is a court hearing. Bailey, who has to wear robes during his hearings, said Monday in a phone interview. Bailey's advice comes as the country adjusts to Zoom meeting etiquette. Yes, there is such a thing. Amid the global coronavirus pandemic, while some may doubt the link between work fashion and productivity, environmental psychology expert Francis T. McAndrew explained the connection simply. If you look at how you are dressed, that signals something about what you are prepared to do, the Knox College professor told Vogue magazine. So if you're dressed like a slob and you are in your sweat clothes, you're either prepared to work out at the gym or clean out the basement, but you're not doing anything professional or mentally challenging. And that spills over into your motivation and confidence. Bailey's directive may have sounded a bit harsh, but it was rooted in the right place. To paraphrase a popular sports adage, you look good, you work good. I agree with that, by the way. You're going to earn the same amount of respect that you're shown, Bailey said. If you show up in jeans and a t-shirt, it's counterproductive. I agree. Okay, so that was the end of the article right there. I'll give you my two cents on this. Um, I agree 100% with the the thrust of this article. I can tell you, you know, maybe it's a holdover from being in the military for four years, but it's true practicing as an attorney. When I was in the military and I put my uniform on, I became a different person. I became that airman that I was trained to be. I was in the Air Force to go and get shit done. Um, the same is true when you put on 
the the uniform, the suit and tie that a lawyer wears. You're ready to go. You feel different. You react different. People feed off you differently. I think it makes a big difference. And if you're going to be in a Zoom meeting, I think you should dress appropriately. Uh, being in your bedroom, you should at least be at your kitchen table or your desk. I mean, you're going to be in your house, so it's not going to be the most you know beautiful background whatnot. But if you're sitting there in your tie and your suit, you know the background won't really matter. People will look at you with respect. Um, you know, in the courtroom itself, you see a lot of different things. I can say in Pittsburgh, it's still pretty formal. Now, they have these sort of like uh, dress, these dressy boots that are, are as comfortable as tennis shoes. I haven't bought a pair. A lot of attorneys wear them. Um, they look professional, but they're also comfortable. I'm all for that. There are some lawyers who put on their suit and walk around in tennis shoes. Older guys, you know, or, or girls that maybe have uh, hip problems or back problems, this or that, um, or maybe they're just lazy. I don't know. I don't question them. There's some judges who might. I've never seen a judge make a comment about shoes, but I've heard them comment on other things if they think that it's inappropriate. I've heard stories about judges yelling at attorneys for wearing blue shirts. I mean, come on, under their suit, a blue shirt. Okay, I don't know. Uh, there is one uh, older attorney in Pittsburgh who's been practicing for a long time. I've seen him. He'll be fairly dressed down. I, I, I don't know about jeans, but, you know, uh, not the whole suit and tie, not the whole suit get up. Usually he'll have a tie on, but it's generally not. He's kind of a little laid back. He's got this long ponytail. Hey, he can pull it off, though. The judges respect him. I would never do that. I couldn't pull it off anyway. I go suit and tie um, to the, you know, dress to the most formal pr process, uh, possible pretty much every time I'm going to court, especially in the court of common pleas. As far as women are concerned, I have no idea. Their dress code always confuses me because I see some women wear suits, but they don't all wear suits in court. They can get away with dress type things. Hey, they know what's going on in their world. Frankly, I do not. Um, but the same advice goes to clients, people who are going to court, regular people. If you have court, I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Put that tie on. You don't necessarily have to wear a suit, but put a nice shirt, nice pants, nice shoes. Put a tie on. If you have it, wear it. Look good. The judge is going to see you, and they're going to judge you. All right? And the first thing that human beings judge is what they see with their own eyes. Now, I've also heard, I practice in Pittsburgh, PA, all right? Uh, northeast, Midwest, whatever. Court's pretty formal here. I've heard in the South that attorneys are a bit less formal when going to court. I've just heard this. I haven't observed it. Uh, you know, short sleeve shirts and ties, no tie and a jacket. You can pull that off. Uh, doesn't look like that's the case in Broward County, Florida. Then again, Florida isn't really the South, but I've heard like Georgia, Carolinas, etc. You can get a little more informal. I don't know if that's true or not. I can tell you that is not the case in Pittsburgh, but I thought this story was funny. I've done three hearings um, via teleconference since the coronavirus outbreak started, but they were all simply telephone. So I'm going to, you know, I've been talking a lot of smack here. I'm going to tell you I was wearing a t-shirt whenever I was doing those, but I knew nobody was going to see me. So you don't have that same effect. Uh, if you're going to be on camera, I mean, come on, you got to do it. I know I wear a t-shirt here, but that's, that's planned because I want this podcast to be relaxed. I want people to watch, relate to me, and we have a little bit of fun. When I go into court, it's a whole different story. And you'll even see, check out some of my videos. I got my whole suit and tie on. I'll do those from uh, on occasion. All right, so I hope you found this entertaining. Um, you know, I can't believe the, uh, you know, in a t-shirt and, and a woman was in her bed I mean, come on, that's just, that's just out of this world. To be in your bed and talk into the court um, on Zoom uh, is pretty unprofessional. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer here on this channel. We cover legal news and legal topics. I'm a practicing Pittsburgh attorney. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you for tuning in.